Hello everybody, how are you? I hope you are all well. Welcome to week nine of your homework with the school closed. In total, there are 11 weeks. So only two more classes before summer. Now, what is this week? This week's class. Quiz night is the title. Quiz night. What is a quiz? Do you know? A quiz is on TV or radio or maybe in class when people answer questions for prizes or money. <laughs> no money in my class, I'm sorry, when we do a quiz. <laughs> anyway, you're going to hear a proper quiz, okay? Uh, it's from a radio quiz show. In this lesson, first, we will look at some vocabulary for high numbers, big numbers. We did this last term. We studied big numbers. So I hope you don't have problems with this part. So let's read. Read three questions from a radio quiz show. Choose the right answer for each question. Okay, let's read the questions. I will not read all the numbers in the answers. Number one. What is the approximate population of the UK? Okay. A, B, or C? Number two. How many calories are there in a Big Mac? Okay, you know the burger from McDonald's? A Big Mac. How many calories? A, B, or C? And number three. How far is it from New York City to Los Angeles? About, oh, A, B, or C? Okay, listen to the program and find the correct answers. A, B, or C? Question one. What is the approximate population of the UK? Is it A, 42 million, B, 52 million, or C, 62 million? I think it's C, 62 million. C is the right answer. <laughs> Question two. How many calories are there in a Big Mac? Is it A, 670, B, 485, or C, 305? I think it's A, 670. Final answer? Final answer, 670. I'm sorry, the right answer is B. A Big Mac has 485 calories. And question three. How far is it from New York City to Los Angeles? Is it A, about 4,000 kilometers, B, about 2,500 kilometers, or C, about 5,000 kilometers? About 4,000 kilometers. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. A is the right answer. Okay, do you have the answers? Remember, you can rewind to listen again if necessary. So, the answer to number one is C, 62 million. There are 62 million people living in the UK approximately. Number two, the answer is B, 485. There are 485 calories 
in a Big Mac? And number three, the answer is A. About 4,000 kilometers. It is about 4,000 kilometers from New York City to Los Angeles. So we have three numbers. 62 million 485 and 4,000. Can you write these numbers in words? I want you to press pause now and write in words only the winning numbers. Okay, so in words you write 62 million 485 and 4,000. Press pause and then we can check. Okay, did you write all the numbers? Let's check. 62 million. We write like this. 62 million. Next, 485. We write like this. 485. And 4,000, we write like this. 4,000. Now look at some more numbers. Here, some words or numbers are missing each time. Here, here you write any numbers that are missing. Here, you write any words that are missing. Please press pause to do this exercise. Press pause now. Okay, you can send a photo of your answers by email or Skype, please. My WhatsApp is full. If you can, please email. And here again, press pause and correct the mistakes. A hundred, you, you see the number and the words 175. No, that's not correct English. We say 175. Okay, you correct the mistakes in the words each time. Again, take photos of your answers to send to me by email. Press pause to do that part. Okay, and after, now you will hear 10 numbers. Please write the numbers. Maybe you can listen the first time and write your answer in numbers. Then after you write the numbers with words. So the photograph you send me, I can see these numbers in words and numbers, please. Here are the numbers. 199. <laughs> Two, three hundred and fifty, three, nine hundred and twenty, four, one thousand three hundred, five, three thousand four hundred and thirty seven, six. 7,700 7 50,000 8 120,000 9 40 million 10 2 million 600,000 Okay, 
I hope you got them all. So you can press pause now while you organize that. Maybe you want to listen again to check the numbers. But uh, let's continue. You can press pause to do that part. Okay. So next, when you're ready, now you're going to hear a real quiz show. There's a question here. What quiz shows are popular in your country? Do you have quiz shows in your country? Now you are going to listen to the introduction to a quiz show called Quiz Night. Answer the questions. Let's read the questions first. Number one. How long do the contestants have to say if the sentences are true or false? How long? How many seconds or minutes? Two. How much do they win? How much money? If they get A, the first answer right, B, the second answer right, C, the third answer right, D, all eight answers right. Okay, so for each answer, there's a different prize, different money. Three, if they get an answer wrong, not correct, how much do they lose? And number four, what can a contestant do if they are not sure of the answer? Okay, pause if you want to read these questions again, okay? And when you're ready, listen. Good evening. Welcome to Quiz Night. Tonight's show comes from Dublin. And our first contestant is Colleen from London. Hi, Colleen. Are you nervous? Yeah, a bit. <laughs> well, just try to relax. The rules are the same as always. I'm going to read you some sentences, and you have 10 seconds to say if the sentence is true or false. If you get the first answer right, you win 500 euros. Then for each correct answer, you double your money. So if you get the second answer right, you win 1,000 euros. And for the third correct answer, you win 2,000 euros. For eight correct answers, you win 64,000 euros. But if you get an answer wrong, you lose all the money. Remember, you can also phone a friend. So if you're not sure about one of the answers, you can phone your friend to help you. Is that okay, Colleen? Yeah, okay. Okay, did you get that all? Listen again, and you can read this time. Point 45. Good evening. Welcome to Quiz Night. Tonight's show comes from Dublin. And our first contestant is Colleen from London. Hi, Colleen. Are you nervous? Yeah, a bit. <laughs> well, just try to relax. The rules are the same as always. I'm going to read you some sentences, and you have 10 seconds to say if the sentence is true or false. If you get the first answer right, you win 500 euros. Then for each correct answer, you double your money. So if you get the second answer right, you win 1,000 euros. And for the third correct answer, you win 2,000 euros. For eight correct answers, you win 64,000 euros. But if you get an answer wrong, you lose all the money. Remember, you can also phone a friend. So if you're not sure about one of the answers, you can phone your friend to help you. Is that okay, Colleen? Yeah, okay. Well, do you have all the answers? Remember, press pause if necessary. Here are the answers. Okay, see you in video two.